Digestion for a long time, and the doctor gave me this list of different antacids. But I'm just not sure of one thing. What is actually antacids? An antacid is either a tablet like this or a liquid like this. It's a medicine that people take in order to get their stomach acid back to neutralization. Seriously, enough with this fancy words. But what is neutralization? Oh, I get it now. Now she needs to take an alkali to balance it out. Yeah. Well, they have different types of active ingredients. They can oh. either have calcium, magnesium, aluminium, hydroxide, etc. Oh, thanks. Can you give me the most popular brand, please? Here you go. Thanks. Wow, that's expensive. Neutralization is when something has a pH of seven, like water. Anything below seven is an acid, and anything above seven is an alkali. Hey, do you have indigestion? Instead of getting your regular antacid, how about you try baking soda? Cheap and send your pH down to six. Within one minute. Buy now from our local store. Hey, how you doing? Ah, <laughs> oh, dang it. Should have bought that baking soda. <laughs> Gather your equipment, then put on your goggles, then pour 20 ml of HCl into the measuring cylinder or graduated cylinder. And then pour it into a beaker. Crush about 2 grams of your first tablet into the bowl. Next, using a metal or plastic spoon, place your crushed tablet onto the measuring scale. Stop when it gets to 2 grams. Take some off if necessary. Accuracy is very important. Yeah, I think that's about it. No, I didn't think it was Oh no, take a piece of pH paper. Drop it into the HCl to check the pH. You must not add the ready. In the metal spoon, pour two grams of your antacid into the HCl while someone starts the stopwatch. Every minute, check the pH of the solution and record the results by checking the pH 4.
data analysis. Baking soda was most effective on acid as it went to six and then stayed stable. Stable status is necessary because the medicine might otherwise cause harm to the body. If it's violent, manox is also good because of its tendency to bring the pH to natural status. And moxol was also good because of the same reason. Overall, Rennie and Bacon Soda were too small and Moxel was best because it brought the HCL or stomach acid to a natural level of 2 or 3. Hey everyone, I'm Bear Gould. No, just kidding. I'm Duncan Zebra, and I'll be hosting today's episode of Do It Right. On the left, we have Tina Percy. And on the right, the results. Now remember, this is not a competition. And here, we are all winners. Now, so first question for the lovely team of currency. What was your thought? Was it right or was it wrong? actually the fastest to neutralize. However, I would not have this to relieve my indigestion. Because your stomach is naturally supposed to have a pH scale of 3 or 4, not 7 or 6. Ah, interesting. So, back to team of currency. Um, did you make any errors or mistakes in your experiment? If so, how can you have improved them? Well, we made a few, but they were kind of small. Like, for example, when we were me measuring the pH scale, we didn't exactly do it at the exact time. Some of them were a bit, a few seconds off, but it didn't really matter. Uh, we could have improved that by maybe making sure we did it at the exact same time. And also, our measurements were a bit off by maybe, a, maybe one tenth of a gram or so. But I don't think that makes a difference. Yeah, there weren't any major mistakes that would have affected our results. Hold on, let's let the result team be the judge of that. She's right. It didn't really, it didn't really affect our results, but overall we are very accurate. We work good together. No issues whatsoever. So that's it for day for today's episode of. Do it right. Now, I need to get myself some more grub. See you later, folks. We found that baking soda changed the pH massively in under a minute. The pH was a 6. However, let's let the professor take you through why we thought Mavox or Moxel was probably the better choice. What we did is we tested three different antacids and baking soda. We put each antacid in HCl and measured its pH every minute over a six minute time period. Dear doctor, after reading the article Heartbreak or Heartbreak, I suspect I suffer from indigestion. I have visited weight rooms and there are so many different brands of antacid I can't decide which one to try. I'm even more confused because Grant thinks that baking soda is just as effective and it's cheap. Is baking soda an antacid? And which antacid should I use? The sick at heart, age 16, vanilla. Well, to put you out of your misery, we conducted a special experiment just for you. And we found that Malox or Moxel would be the better option. Well, I hope we answered your question. Tune in to next week for another episode of Dolly Doctor!